Hello learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am teacher Adam who will be taking you through chemistry. The topic for today will be from form 4, chapter 1. That's the chemistry of acids, bases and salts. Kindly stay with us till the end of the video. So let us start with defining acids and bases. So we start with acid. What is an acid? An acid is a substance that when dissolved in water associates to produce hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions. For example, hydrochloric acid. How do we write hydrochloric acid? HCl. When it dissolves in water, it associates producing hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So if you check the ionic equation, hydrogen ions are the only positively judged ions. So hydrochloric acid is an acid. The same with nitric 5 acid. When you write nitric 5 acid, dissolved in water, dissociates producing hydrogen ion as the only positively judged ion, and are having nitrate ion, which is aqueous. So to go for sulfuric acid, H2SO4 aqueous, dissociates in water to produce two of hydrogen ions and also sulfate ions. So what are acid? Substance that when dissolved in water, dissociates to produce hydrogen ions as the only positively judged ions. Hydrogen ions, hydrogen ions, hydrogen ions as the only positively judged ions. Okay, let's go to abyss. If you know how to define an acid, you also know how to define abyss. You only check hydrogen ions, then you replace with hydroxyl ions. The definition will be okay. Then you check positively charged ion, then you replace with negatively charged ion. So what is a base? A base is a substance that, when dissolved in water, dissociates to produce hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ions. For example, sodium hydroxide. How do you write sodium hydroxide? Sodium hydroxide, <coughs> we are going to write NaOH. When it dissolves in water, it associates producing sodium ions and also hydroxyl ions. So we are having hydroxyl ions as the only negatively judged ions. So sodium hydroxide is a base. Let's go for calcium hydroxide. It's written in chemical formula like this. Calcium hydroxide dissociates in water producing calcium ions, aqueous, and also two of hydroxyl ions, which are aqueous. So we are saying a base is a substance when dissolved in water, associates to produce hydroxyl ions as the only negatively judged ions, as you can see in our two examples here. So, we can be told again or asked to define acid and bases using brosted lowers definition. So, according to brosted lowers definition, acid is defined as a proton donor, <coughs> while a base is defined as a proton acceptor. For example, let's go to the first one. We are told, given a reason in which case, identify a base in the equation below, in the equations below. So we are having here ammonia gas plus water, giving you ammonium ion and also hydroxyl ion. So if you are told, uh, identify a base or an acid in such a question, you are supposed to pick your answer or your response from the reactant side, the reactant side only. If you, pick, if you pick from the product side, you will be totally wrong. So let us see now. Let's start with ammonia. Ammonia is NH3. Check now NH3, the number of protons of hydrogen with the product side. So here I'm having NH4. That means it was NH3, it has now it has accepted a proton. So what have we said about a base? We said a base, it's a proton acceptor. So that means ammonia is the base. Reason, because we are totally giving a reason, it is a proton acceptor. Or you can say this is because ammonia gas accepts a proton from water to form ammonium ion. So the answer will be ammonia gas. Reason, this is because it is a proton acceptor. Or you can say this is because ammonia gas accepts a proton from water to form ammonium ion. Let's go to the example number two. Here, this equation, we are told the same. Identify the base while giving a reason. So hydrogen peroxide and also water. Which one is the base? So we are going to see hydrogen peroxide, it is H2O2. But when we check here, it is H, there's no 2 there, that means it was minus 1. 
so it has now given out so it's not a base because a base accepts or receives a proton or a hydrogen but not gives out so check water here h2o but here i'm having h3o that means it has accepted a proton from the hydrogen peroxide so water is our base reason this is because it is a proton acceptor okay let's go example two when sodium hydrogen sulfate is dissolved in water sulfate ions are produced from hydrogen sulfate ions according to the equilibrium so this equation you are seeing hydrogen sulfate ion plus water it is in equilibrium reversible reaction we are having here hydronium ion and also sulfate ions okay sorry that's the question so we are told giving a reason which particle acts as an acid and a base so if you come across such a question and it's a reversible you expect the teacher to tell you which side you are going is it backward reaction or forward reaction if he doesn't disclose or tells you the side you are supposed to take your answer as if he has asked you on the forward reaction so given a reaction which particle acts as an acid let's check here now hydrogen sulfate ion so hydrogen sulfate ion let's check on the boron oxide we are having so4 here that means we are missing the hydrogen there so that means hydrogen sulfate ion donates the proton that hydrogen proton and becomes sulfate ion so what have we said about acid we said acid is a proton donor as you can see from here so our answer acid here is hydrogen hydrogen sulfate ion first stop what is the reason this is because and this is because it is a proton donor a proton donor let's go we can also say reason this is because hydrogen sulfate ion donates an proton to water to form sulfate ions you can see that if you don't want to say it's a proton donor let's go to a base so a base it is water because it is h2o then you see here it has accepted a hydrogen atom or a hydrogen proton to form hydronium ion so we are going to say here is water is our answer reason because it is a proton acceptor it is a proton acceptor okay after that let's just try to go to see the strengths of acids and bases so we want to define some terms like what is a strong acid what is a weak acid what's a strong base what is a weak base so let's start with strong acid if you know one definition then that means you can know the others just by changing some small thing so what's a strong acids are acids that when dissolved in water fully dissociate so this word here to produce many this other word again many hydrogen ions as the only positive charged ions so we are talking about acid that means we are supposed to have only positive charged ions example nitric five acid sulfuric acid we are having hydrochloric acid okay let's go to weak acids what are weak acids you just check from strong acids where you see fully you change to partially where you see many you change to few hydrogen ions so weak acids are acids that when dissolved in water partially dissociates so instead of fully partially dissociates to produce or to form few hydrogen ions instead of many hydrogen ions as the only positive charged ions examples carbonic acid methanoic acid oxalic acid or ethandioic acid ethan ethandioic acid oxalic acid and ethandioic acid are just one and the same so let's go to strong bases so what are strong bases are bases that when dissolved in water fully dissociate to produce many hydroxyl ions as the only negative charged ion so what are you going to change if you know what strong acid is, is two side only where you have hydrogen ions you make hydroxyl ions where you have positively judged ions you make negatively judged ions so your definition will be correct you know only strong acid you can know the others examples include sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide weak acids are acids that when dissolved in water partially dissociates to produce few or few hydrogen ions as the only negatively judged ions examples include a magnesium hydroxide ammonia solution or ammonium hydroxide you can see that ammonia solution and ammonium hydroxide are just one and the same 
we have wood ash, wood ash solution and you can put another example like calcium hydroxide which is a weak base calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide so thereafter let's just try to go distinguishing some terms of acids and bases example you can be told to distinguish between the following terms so we are having one dilute acid and concentrated acid what are dilute acids so dilute acids are acids that contain few number of acid molecules by given volume what about concentrated acid are acids that contain large number of acid molecules by given volume what about a base and alkali so we know a base we have defined long time ago is a substance that when dissolved in water dissociates to reduce hydroxyl ions as the only negatively charged ions what about alkalis alkalis are bases which are soluble in water um, they are soluble bases so from there you can be told define the term basicity of an acid basicity of an acid define the term basicity of an acid so basicity of an acid this is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in an acid after that Let's just try to go to the extended extended questions. So we are supposed to attempt these two questions, attempt the following questions. So and try to share your response or your answers on the comment section. I'll be just trying to go through to check and to give you the answer. So let's now let me let's meet on our next class as we look on comparing the strengths of acids and bases. Next class, we are going to go to compare the strengths of acids and bases. Thank you. Goodbye.